Welcome back guys and this is a video on Nusu Samani uh, a sketchup version of Nusu Samani so let me just run you in brief the steps that are required uh, to make the model uh, so first will is rectangular then second command will be fillet so um, in sketchup basically you don't have fillet as a command unless there's some <coughs> additional plugin so uh, here I am actually making an arc let's just mm -hmm, quite a little bit lengthy process okay then we go ahead to the next command is uh, we would require uh, a hexagon panels uh, for which you can hexagon okay then we require hexagon panels then uh, like I said in my previous video um, we would require two two uh, plugins in this video which would be a JHS power bar and an FFD power and an FFD plugin uh, okay so just begin now uh, once we ha okay so to make our hexagonal panels uh, you can find it in the toolbar which is polygon and uh, for six sides uh, at the bottom uh, you can write six and you'll get your hexagonal panel the next step is from the JHS power bar which is which is copy along uh, which you can see the red which is one two three four five five yeah, dots and the five dots in the power in the bar okay so now uh, you have to mention the distance uh, which is actually uh, 4 points my bad I counted it 5 which uh, the command is copy along path uh, from GHS plugin you can get it done in different million ways but this is one of the options that I uh, basically basically this is one of the options that I feel it's faster uh, because over here unlike Rhino um, the plugin I'm not aware of the plugin that which you could just copy the grid onto the surface so this is I found this a little bit faster uh, for FFD you just have to uh, right click onto the command and there you see FFD and on the number of uh, width and depth that you require the grids that you want based on that you enter in and you can see the grids yeah, yeah you can see it um so FFD uh for an FFD to work the model the s it shouldn't be in a block or else it won't work so for which I had to explode and then yeah based on then you can just pull and push according to how much you require the curvature how much curvature you need mm -hmm. you'll have to select all of the points that is lying on one of the layer all of them or else it wouldn't move it wouldn't move uniformly as you need all of the points to be selected
well uh, one disadvantage uh, one thing that I didn't like about SketchUp is the the result the end result that you find is the curvature at the corners kind to kind of tend to break it isn't we, we can't find it a smooth curve it's the panels are just breaking open they aren't forming a curve like structure well but this uh, if you do if you if you guys do know any other method please do mention in the comment below and would be helpful for all of us uh, we could learn something new and uh, use it in a model making well uh, and yeah thank you for watching and please do like subscribe for more